Evaluations uncovered worlds suddenly brilliant and enormous, some previously flaunting a heavenly mass equaling a billion suns, much like our own. The energy didn't stop there. In the subsequent days, numerous universe competitors from soothsayers and glass arose, some with redshift gauges as high as 20, indicating they existed only a short time after the enormous detonation. These worlds showed circle-like designs not expected in such early astronomical ages. Furthermore, another group found proof of smooth waste systems at a redshift of 10, under 500 million years after the enormous detonation. Such a fast rise of sizable universes challenges the expectations of the standard cosmological model, lambda cold dark matter. To grasp this oddity, a brief return to early universe elements is fundamental. In the initial minutes after the enormous detonation, the universe was a hot, thick soup of early-stage particles. Over the long haul, as the universe extended and cooled, helium and other light components formed, leading to the presence of the principal iotas around 400,000 years later. Approximately 100 million years after the enormous detonation, conditions became conducive for the development of the principal stars, made essentially out of hydrogen and helium. These early stars, bigger and more splendid than current stars, amassed into proto-worlds, directed by the gravitational draw of dark matter. However, JWST's revelation challenges this model as it uncovers brilliant, sizable cosmic systems far sooner than anticipated. Stacy McDaw from Case Western Reserve College noticed the startling shortfall of numerous smaller protogalactic parts, suggesting that some noticed systems might be closer than assumed, hidden by dust, seeming dimmer and more far off. The discovery of the early worlds brings up significant issues about the universe's early stages, highlighting the need for continued investigation and revision of our cosmological models. Follow-up observations of GLASS Z13 in August 2022 by the Atacama Large Millimeter Array in Chile cast uncertainty on the initial findings. Despite the use of brilliance-based estimations, ALMA didn't detect significant amounts of dust associated with GLASS Z13. As Peter Tom B. from Goya College, who led the observations, said, this suggests that low redshift intruders can be excluded, but ALMA attempted to identify the universe by any means. This highlights the challenge of confirming observations made using JWST's high capabilities. Rohan Natu, one of the specialists involved, pointed out the incongruity of the situation, stating, the good news is there's nothing identified, he said. The bad news is there's nothing identified. With only JWST capable of following up on its own observations, the most frightening explanation could be that the standard Lambda CDM cosmological model requires updating. Michael Boylan-Kalchin, a cosmologist, expressed the size of this potential shift in understanding, stating, these outcomes are extremely astonishing and difficult to get in our standard model of cosmology. It would be a genuine revolution to comprehend. One controversial proposition is modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, which challenges the existence of dark matter. JWST observations could lend backing to MOND, proposed by Mark McGall. However, not all cosmologists are persuaded of MOND's validity. Another possible explanation is that early universe worlds might have almost no dust, causing them to appear more splendid and affecting mass computations. This scenario could also explain Alma's difficulty in identifying glass Z13. Charlotte Brinkley and her associates proposed that JWST could be observing the most brilliant young systems in the early universe, which could suggest unique star formation conditions during that age. David Spurgel supports this idea, suggesting that high-mass star formation could have been more efficient due to higher gas tensions and temperatures, potentially influenced by early magnetic fields. The quick dispersal of scientific papers from JWST's initial observations reflects a shift toward real-time peer review via platforms like AR14 and social media. While this speeds up the dissemination of findings, there are concerns about rushing to conclusions before thorough peer review. Despite calibration issues and potential recalibrations affecting some results, it's unlikely that all high-redshift cosmic systems observed by JWST will be nullified.
The sheer number of these worlds suggests that the early universe might be different from what was previously anticipated. Stephen Finkelstein expressed confidence in the validity of the discoveries, stating that the chances of cosmologists being altogether wrong are small. Presently, stargazers are hurrying to conduct subsequent observations with JWST. Nancy Levinson is currently evaluating around 12 proposals from various groups seeking additional JWST observation time, primarily to examine high-redshift cosmic system candidates. Given the excitement and significance of these early discoveries, confirming them is vital. Troy Hull, who submitted one of the proposals, underscored the importance of confirming these findings. Different projects, like Cosmos Web led by Caitlin Casey, aim to expand the known population of early systems by observing a wider area of the sky for many hours. They anticipate identifying thousands of systems. Additionally, extra undertakings will look for proof of the first proto-universes, possibly using the explosive deaths of supersized first stars and radiant supernovae as markers for their existence. Some evaluations suggest that JWST could observe cosmic systems to the extent of a redshift of 26, only 120 million years after the enormous detonation. Confirming even a small number of these high redshift candidates would be a remarkable accomplishment, according to Natu, showing that cosmologists are not being misled by their observations. JWST has introduced a new era of science, and despite the uncertainties, the rapid communication of new data has invigorated astronomers. Troy Hull expressed excitement about the associated academic community's enthusiasm. Now the question arises as to whether it's time to reconsider how we interpret the very beginning. Artie pondered the significant ramifications of delving into the unknown, concluding the information for now. Remember to show your support by liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell for future episodes. Also, be sure to share your thoughts on today's content. Your support inspires us to keep delivering quality content and striving for progress. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has ushered in a new era of exploration and discovery, challenging our understanding of the universe's origins and evolution. Its unprecedented observations of galaxies formed shortly after the Big Bang have sparked excitement and debate among scientists, pushing the boundaries of cosmological knowledge. The telescope's ability to peer deeper into space and time than ever before has unveiled cosmic phenomena that defy conventional models, prompting a re-evaluation of existing theories and the formulation of new ones. From ancient galaxies to the mysteries of dark matter and early star formation, JWST's findings have profound implications for our understanding of cosmic history. Looking forward, JWST promises to continue unraveling the universe's complexities, offering glimpses into epochs previously beyond our reach. Its discoveries not only advance scientific inquiry but also inspire wonder and curiosity about the universe's vastness and our place within it. As JWST embarks on its mission to further explore the cosmos, scientists eagerly anticipate what new revelations lie ahead. With each observation, we move closer to unraveling the fundamental questions of existence and gaining a deeper appreciation of the tapestry that surrounds us. In essence, the James Webb Space Telescope stands as a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity, driving us toward a deeper understanding of our cosmic origins and our place in the universe's grand narrative. Has NASA just found the gates of heaven? Since man first stepped on the moon, NASA, with its brilliant team of scientists, astronomers, and researchers, has created the most unimaginable spacecrafts that have toured our galaxy for decades, revealing the mysteries of the cosmos. And now they have just revealed a terrifying image captured by the Hubble Space Telescope that might determine the fate of our existence. Could the Hubble Space Telescope have discovered heaven? Join us as we unravel the intrigue of the Hubble Space Telescope's discovery of heaven. An intriguing photograph that was allegedly leaked from NASA's Hubble telescope has once again resurfaced. On December 26, 1994, at NASA's office in the United States, scientists were left in shock by the pictures captured by the Hubble telescope. As they deciphered the image, it strangely revealed a large white city somewhere in space. 
the NASA team was caught off guard, still in shock at what they had just seen. They couldn't swiftly respond and the Hubble web server was mysteriously made public. Consequently, the images, typically reserved for exclusive study in closed astronomical laboratories, became accessible to the global audience within a very short time. The photos circulated widely across the Internet. The U.S. government swiftly classified the images to control the public unrest, restricting the pictures from the public. But they were not fast enough, as a photographer in Ellington Airfield had already taken snapshots and was showcasing this image that had a stunning galactic landscape with towers, pillars, caves, and structures that looked like man-made buildings. One of the pictures that was taken had a foggy spot, and Ken Wilson, a professor at the University of Florida, armed with a handheld magnifier, studied the photograph for more detail. In the professor's investigation, he discovered that the foggy spot had an unusual shape. It was clear that there was no error or interference during the image transmission from the Hubble to Earth, and the experts at NASA were sure that the distortion observed couldn't be attributed to the diffraction of the telescope lenses. So after an urgent meeting, NASA representatives decided to recapture the area where the anomaly was detected. For this mission, they programmed the Hubble telescope for the highest possible resolution and precisely directed the telescope lenses at a specific section of the starry sky. After several tense minutes, the telescope captured a photograph. Without wasting time, the image was shown on a very big projection screen in the laboratory, seizing the undivided attention of the gathered scientists. The previously foggy spot was now clear, and it unsettled the observers. It looked like a structure that produced light from itself and at the same time looked like a city. This presumed city was similar to those that were constructed following the classical conventions of speculative fiction and futuristic depictions of cities from distant times, radiating with an otherworldly glow. The structure extended into the boundless expanse of space, spanning billions of distant kilometers. This mysterious city was named the City of God. Most people believed it was heaven. Someone from NASA suggested that maybe the city was home to departed souls. But let's be real, these ideas from NASA folks sound too wild. They're trying to convince us of things that sound more like stories than science. As scientists investigated the pictures from the Hubble telescope further, they discovered something interesting. The city wasn't just sitting there, it moved along with the galaxies. This movement followed the rules in the Big Bang theory, sticking to the universe's laws. But here's where it gets even more fascinating. Scientists noticed another thing about how the city moves. Imagine a 3D model of far-off parts of the universe showing up on a big screen. It wasn't like the universe was moving away from us, it was the other way around. It was like the Earth was moving away from the city of God, making some kind of center in the universe. They even used a computer model to show how galaxies drift away from the city. So the more they explore, the more mysterious and amazing the city of God becomes. It's like a puzzle where every piece reveals a new secret about the universe, challenging us to think beyond what we know, keeping the curiosity alive for what lies beyond our world. There are many claims that NASA attempted to hide this extraordinary image from the public. The motive behind this alleged cover-up remains unclear, but it sparks curiosity about the potential reasons for concealing such a breathtaking cosmic spectacle. This discovery, the most important scientific data ever collected, has not been publicly released for fear that it may cause worldwide panic, which is somewhat too vague and hard to believe. The computer-enhanced images were safely kept from public view. Upon close inspection, the photograph reveals intricate details that challenge the notion of natural formations. Towers, domes, and even a structure resembling a watchtower are discernible. The image appears to depict a galactic city with peculiar geography, questioning the authenticity of its natural origins. Moving around all of these, 